Welcome Libra. I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, <clears throat> excuse me, and I'm here again today to bring you your Angel Tarot and Oracle card reading for the week of January the 6th to the 13th, 2020. Here we are that first week of 2020 in January and it's starting off to look like it's a pretty good week. Okay, I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing, but most of all, subscribing to these videos. I truly am grateful and when you do subscribe, be sure to click that bell button for any of your favorite readers and you'll get notified immediately when these are out on YouTube for you to view. This is a collective and general reading and that means not every card will resonate with every Libra out there but some of it will, so take what does and run with it and throw the rest out into the universe. If you want clarity, accuracy and answers to any questions, then I welcome and invite you to click the little icon in the top right hand corner of this video and it will take you directly into my website where you can see the services that I offer. All the other information is posted below this video. Again, we are doing the Celtic the Celtic cross layout and this is the all over energy that's crowning this reading where you are now. This is coming in below you, above you, behind you and towards you. You're starting off with a lot of action going on. Uh, Libra, I see that there's a great deal of activity coming in. You may have a lot of things on your plate to do. You may be juggling, uh, you know, activity around you, trying to get things done. I realize before Christmas it's busy and even after Christmas it could be deadlines that maybe you have to get work done uh, in your job or even just cleaning up around the house putting away all those decorations and things that you wanted to put away but it could also be activity and events that maybe you're planning maybe you're planning a trip maybe you're planning uh, you know you've got work uh, you know business to do but it could be information coming in as well lots of emails uh, coming into you uh, lots of information you may be receiving some news sudden and Im immediate results are going to be coming in as well so I want you to keep your communication uh, clear I want you to be able to uh, make sure that you're communicating with those accurately that you that matter to you on situations that are important to you right now it's important that you communicate clearly coming in below you you've got one of the best cards in the deck this is setting dreams, uh, you know, beginnings, a brand new start, being able to give birth to your dreams and looking at life and saying, ah, oh, life is good again. OK, um, you're going to be able to uh, move forward as long as you maintain a positive attitude, Libra. So try to stay uh, try to stay positive in the way you think, because that's what's going to inspire you to better success and to happiness. Some of you may be starting out on something brand new. Maybe it's a new relationship. Maybe it's a new home. Uh, maybe you're going somewhere, uh, you know, you're traveling somewhere brand new you've never been. Or maybe you're taking on a new career or some new work with your job but know that it is the beginning it is being able to, to start new start fresh and being able to see where it is you want to go giving birth to your dreams basically now some of you may actually be having a new one being added to your family maybe you're you're conceiving and having a child or maybe someone in your family is bringing a child into the family oh dear Oh dear, Libra, you've got the broken heart. You've got the Three of Swords, the Three of Michael. And this is about releasing the past. There may have been heartbreak, betrayal. Someone may have walked away from you. You may have walked away from someone. But I see that it involved three parties. And one was very influencing in causing this breakup. And you've had a long time to heal through this, some of you. And you'll grow from this situation. Unfortunately, Time heals all wounds and it's still taking time and believe it or not I think it's taking time for the other parties as well to overcome this. It was something that should never have happened. Uh, it was because uh, you know one person didn't want to uh, you know go with the flow and you know it was a culmination of things that should never have occurred because all of you loved each other and it's hurting and it's painful but you're healing through it 
So you know what, Libra, maybe in time you'll be able to make amends. Maybe in time you'll be able to reconnect again, all of you. But at this time, you need to release it. You, let to, you need to let go of the past so that you can grow from this situation. And time heals all wounds. Coming in behind you, you've been given the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Michael. And this is about you knowing exactly what it is you want to do, where you want to go, and being able to plan that. And knowing that the past experience is helping you to benefit, to benefit and move forward, okay? This is a time for your career rather right now. You're concentrating, most of you are concentrating at this time on your career rather than on your relationships. So it shows me that, you know, uh, you're trying to maintain your, 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 your insight and being self-reliant and standing in your own brilliance, but also being able to keep yourself humorous, keep yourself light and easy going. This queen knows what she wants, but she's a very kind heart. Even though she's the queen of swords, she, she also knows that she, she enjoys the beauty around her and she tries to get things done in that manner. She doesn't go out there wielding her sword uh, and, you know, being, um, you know, you know, going in there with your guns blaring, so to speak. So I do see, you know, exactly what it is you want, like this queen. She has the ability to see ahead and know where she wants to go. So concentrate on right now, concentrate on your career right now, rather than any relationship that could be distracting. Coming in towards you, you have the page of Ariel, the page of, page of Pentacles, and this is telling me that there may be an excellent opportunity that's coming towards you being offered to you. And you know, this page of pentacles could be the energy of someone around you uh, that is a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn that brings you this, okay? This could be somebody bringing you in this opportunity. And I want you to know that you should, you should actually go for it, okay? You should actually go for this. And don't be afraid. This opportunity might be a once in a lifetime thing that's coming in, all right? And I want you to pursue it. Some of you may be going back to school or taking something, a course in something or a hobby in something that you've wanted to do for a long time. And it could also be something when it comes to education. You may be going back to school, some of you, uh, you know, Libras, trying to get, uh, you know, something added to your resume. So it's time to get to work. We talked about the Queen of Swords. Uh, concentrating on your career right now and the financial aspect of your life rather than a relationship right now. Now, coming in with your Lennerman, you've got slow and steady wins the race. So stay focused. Stay, you know, like the Queen of Swords here, we talked about you knowing exactly where it is you want to go. Stay focused. Don't allow any distractions to pull you away from your path. You're going to get where you want to get, but it's taking time, okay? Trust me slow and steady stay focused and stay on course you may feel that you know things are difficult for you at times you have mountains to climb you know sooner you know kind of get yourself out of one challenge and bang something else crops up and you kind of shake your head lever and you say you know why why can't everything run smooth all the time but unfortunately it doesn't go that way in any of our lives some people make it look easier than others but we still all have our challenges and it's how we deal with them is do we deal with them and we get all stressed out and and, and about them or do we say mm, you know what I'll get there when I get there and you know what that's what I was saying with slow and steady here right next to that is you see that you have this little deer and that deer is thinking of how it's going to traverse this mountain but it will it's sure-footed it's going to take its time just like you when you're going through this maze here you will get there slow and steady but you're going to get there don't worry you know you tend to do everything by the book also you may also be an avid reader and you may be a person that likes to take time and read, um, but you do things that are detailed. And you like to do things uh, and cross your T's and dot your I's and make sure that everything's accurate. And that's a good aspect, a good trait to have, Libra. Um, but also I see that, you know, you may be doing research. Like I said, you may be going back to school to take another course or taking something new. Beautiful. You will, if you're being asked to sign any contracts or anything, or you may be doing some research. Maybe some of you are looking into your ancestry. Maybe some of you are looking into uh, the fine print on something. Maybe there's somebody you're doing research or your detective work on. But if you have any documents or partnerships that require documentation, and dual signatures be sure to read the fine print i don't want to see you get taken in on some rich quick scheme 
okay? Because if it sounds too good to be true, chances are it is. But you may just be researching. You know, maybe like I said, some of you want to travel and you may be researching different areas of the world and the history and the culture and so and things like that so that you, you know uh, more about where you're going and what you're stepping into. That's what my guides are telling me intuitively. Now, coming in with your tea leaf cards, you have been given the carrot, the proverbial dangling of the carrot, opportunity or windfall coming into some of you. So we talked about this opportunity coming in and lots of things happening for you. The sun is here being able to give birth to your dreams. So maybe you are going to have added income, uh, increased money or a windfall coming in or, you know, could be a remittance check. It could be a settlement check. It could be an inheritance check. Maybe you have been squirreling away money so that you can do what you want to do. Beautiful opportunity. Maybe I keep seeing a trip for some of you Libras planning a trip. Okay, you've got the knot. Now, maybe your plans are going to fall through. This is unsuccessful plans. So be sure that you know you do your research here. Uh, you know, for some of you, it might, you know, you might, it might not come right away. Maybe you're planning on a move or something to happen and it isn't happening as, as fast as you wish it could. Okay. Or it could have had to do with this. It could have had to do with the unsuccessful plans, you know, that didn't work out the way you had hoped that they had. Now, you've been given the cup, and the cup says you should accept valid criticism. Well, that's not easy to do, right? Um, maybe it had to do with this situation here, okay? And maybe, you know, uh, it wasn't one person's fault. I said there was a, three, a, a situation with three people here, and maybe, you know, we all have to step up now and then and realize that it wasn't just one person's fault. It, you know, it shows me there was a lot of other individuals involved in this broken heart, in this, uh, you know, in this loss here. Uh, and so sometimes we have to take a little bit of constructive criticism and, you know, and own it. Okay. Uh, and you know what? You'll get through it. You'll get through it. Not to worry. Now, what do you need to surrender to? You need to surrender to outdated beliefs about yourself. So let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past. Then you can own your power and soar in your life. So it still could stem back to this situation here, you know, where you may be still thinking about that loss, about what happened there, okay? That grief and that sadness between you and friends or family or, or, or a, you know, a relationship, a love relationship, uh, the loss of something there. So you know what? Let go of outdated beliefs about yourself. Uh, be willing to step up, be willing to, uh, you know, be a little more lenient, uh, be a little more flexible, and also to be able to take, uh, you know, some, uh, con you know, accept some valid criticism, okay? Not always easy. Now, crossing this reading, you have from the answers from the angels you've been given, if you believe. So if there's something you want to happen, okay, maybe it's forgiveness, Maybe it's the joining of getting back together with whatever this was about. Um, you know, maybe it's planning a trip. Maybe it's giving birth to your dreams, okay, and working towards your goals. And so stand in your belief. Keep your thoughts positive. Lean into it and know that you can have what you want. It all, it all depends on how you lean into this. Are you going to lean into it negatively and, you know, or are you going to lean into it with positive, okay? And remember, time heals all wounds. Crossing with the other t uh, uh, oracle cards you've been given, Epiphany. Seek clarity. So this is all about you knowing that you need to step up and you need to, you know, you're doing your research here. We see the book here. We see that you've been given, you've been given the, the, the you know, the looking glass here, the magnifying glass. So to experience an epiphany is to have a sudden realization or spiritual flash that will change the way you view yourself and others around you. You get to see the situation more clearly as if someone just switched on the light. With this clarity, you can see the truth. You will also gain a sense of control within yourself to make positive decisions that will bring about happy and joyful outcomes. So today, my beautiful Libras, your mantra should be, yeah, I can see clearly now. Yay, I can see clearly now. Beautiful. Okay, focus. What do you need to focus on this week? What do you need to focus on this week, Libra? So Divine Spirit and my guides, please tell me and give the card to Libra what they need to focus on today. What, or this week rather, but today's good too. What do they need to focus on? I only need one card, please. One card. 
this card that fits the deck. There it is. There's our card. Thank you. Abundance and fulfillment. There you go. Focus on it. I told you you could give birth to your dreams. Things will happen. Stay positive, okay? You're going to be hearing things coming in very quickly. And you've got opportunities, excellent opportunities being brought into you. You know exactly what you want. Step into your power. And, and you know what? You're doing things by the book. Slow and steady wins a race. Beautiful. You've got abundance and fulfillment coming in. Gorgeous. Well, my beautiful Libras, this is your reading for the week of January the 6th to the 13th. And I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful optimistic week here to look forward to. And again, I leave you with this. The universe and the divine, your higher power, want you to succeed and find your happiness and peace. So Libra, surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you, Libra. See you soon.